It's time for the Nate Hawkins Show. Learn all about Heritage Hills basketball straight from the coach. The Nate Hawkins Show, exclusively on the Southwestern Indiana Sports Network. Hey everyone, Joey Chestnut here, world champion competitive eater. I follow Southwest Indiana Sports Network, and if you're hungry for sports, you should follow them too. Follow the Southwest Indiana Sports Network at SWISportsNetwork.com or search Roku for our channel at SW Indiana Sports Network. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student-athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student-athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. Hello and welcome to this week's Nate Hawkins Show. Nate, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing well, Joe. Thanks for having me on and uh, looking forward to talking with you. You know, new season, uh, new players. Uh, why don't you kind of preview your team for us first in the first section here? Well, um, you know, just a little bit about our guys. Uh, you know, we've we've started off the year pretty well. Um, won our first two games. Um, you know, right now we've uh, uh, we're starting. Two seniors and three sophomores for us. Uh, you know, the two seniors starting are uh, Charlie Brentlinger and uh, uh, Marcus Becker. Marcus uh, started for us last year, and then um, uh, Charlie played, played a little bit as the year went on and uh, has really expanded his role and uh, has really jumped towards his game and has played really well to this point. Um, and then the uh, three sophomores, uh, of course, uh, Trent Sisley, um, you know, who, uh, you know, Trent has done so much for us, uh, obviously last year and, uh, here these first couple of games. Um, and then, uh, Colton Hope and, uh, Hunter Meredith. Hunter, uh, started about midway point of last year. Um, so got a little bit of experience and, and you could tell he, uh, the game has started to really kind of slow down for him and, uh, and he is, he's playing well. And then, uh, uh Colton Hope, uh, another kid, kind of like, uh, Charlie was last year, split time, played a little bit here and there. Um, but uh, has really uh, uh, stepped up this year and uh, has really started the year very well for us. And then, uh, you know, some of our uh, bench guys, um, we've got a couple of freshmen come off the bench for us. Uh, Jake Pryor, um, who, um, you know, is a uh, um, you know, very talented freshman, uh, can really shoot the basketball, um, just continuing to get better, just a lot like Peyton. Peyton Gray's our other freshman. And uh, Peyton is, uh, you know, he's more of a point guard, and uh, Jake is more of a, uh, you know, your traditional. I mean, he can handle the basketball, obviously, and play the point for us a little bit, but uh, but we really like him on the wing, being able to catch and shoot and take people off the dribble and stuff. And um, but but both of them, the game is, uh, um, I mean, they're going for base grade to varsity basketball, so so they're learning as they go, but uh, but doing doing pretty well. I I, I talked to him actually uh, yesterday in practice about. You know that uh, you know doing doing well um, at this point of the season, and um, you know just got to keep playing hard and, and not worry about making mistakes. And uh, so uh, you know they're they're really growing up here quick as uh, as they've been thrown into the uh, varsity ring here a little bit. Um, and then uh, we got another senior coming off the bench, uh, Pierce Lastly. Uh, Pierce, extremely hard worker, uh, can really shoot the basketball. Um, he gives us a little bit of what we need off the bench and, and a little bit of a spark. Um, and then, uh, and then we've got, uh, another, uh, uh, junior, Griffin Wood, who is, uh, playing, playing a lot of JV right now. Uh, you know, great, uh, great guy on, on our bench, really, uh, really gets after it. Um, you know, is, is doing well on the JV, but, uh, but of course he's, uh, also doing, doing very well in practices and, uh, pushing our varsity kids, uh, to get better. And then uh, two other sophomores, uh, Houston Litton, who uh, is playing kind of like Griffin, playing a lot of a uh, lot of JV, and uh, and just continuing to get better every single night. And um, you know, we're hoping that uh, 
Houston continues to evolve as a basketball player and uh, can continue to make those steps. And, uh, um, you know, we know that if, if, if his number's called, he's going to go in there and give it everything he's got. And then, uh, and then we got another sophomore, Anderson Smith. Now, Anderson has not been able to play yet. He, he's recovering from an ACL from last year, I think, uh, during his, during baseball season. And, um, but, uh, he is getting really, really close. And, um, you know, we're hopeful, um, if everything goes well, that he may be able to actually get out on the court and, um, uh, play here when we go to North Posey here in about another week. So, uh, but, but a lot of things, you know, we'll, we'll see how that all plays out and how that goes. But, uh, uh, we'd love for Anderson to be able to get back out there and start competing because, uh, he absolutely loves it and, uh, um, and, and it's just a fun kid to be around. But, um, you know, those are, those are our 11 varsity guys. Um, you know, they've, uh, uh, it's a good group, Joe. Uh, you know, they, uh, they work hard. They play well together. Uh, two ta- the biggest thing I could, I could tell you about these guys is they love to share the basketball with each other. Um, two, our first two games, uh, they had 17 assists and 21 assists. Uh, and, and that tells you a lot about our basketball team, how, how much they love each other. So, uh, we're just going to continue to work and, uh, and continue to watch these guys grow and evolve as a basketball players and a basketball team. Even, you know, before the season started, I realized that you had to ask some athleticism because, uh, I think it was Facebook. I read it that, that, uh, who, won, uh, I think I, of course, I'm sure Trent won the, the, uh, slam dunk contest, but mm-hmm. that, you, that you even had a slam dunk contest to tell us yeah. about the athleticism you have. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, we, we, we have, uh, you know, it is a very athletic group. Um, you know, we had, uh, that was actually a, a pretty, pretty neat, you know, Trent, Trent did win the flame dunk contest. He, he had, uh, uh, you know, his athleticism's off the charts. Uh, you know, he had some, he had some really nice ones, but, uh, uh, but we had all, a bunch of other guys that were able to participate and get some down too. So, I mean, we had, uh, Oh, I think it was probably five or six guys, both of uh, the freshmen. Griffin Wood got in there and uh Houston Litton and Colton Hope. So um you know and and uh they're, they're all all young kids and uh, uh and I think they're just start, starting to figure out how athletic and how good a basketball player can actually be. Now you said that Litton was in the the slam buck dunking contest so he doesn't take after his dad, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, he uh, uh, he was, and actually, he was runner up in that slam dunk contest. And um, uh, you know, he had he had some he had some impressive dunks. So uh, you know, I I told you, uh, Houston a year ago was playing freshman basketball, and um, you know, he he just uh, he came in this summer and just played really really well. And, and I think it's really just um, uh, gave him some confidence. And uh, you know, now he's he's playing and our. our the first the game of the year, he went out there and uh, led him in scoring 13 points, hit a three. He's just he's just really uh, developing the way that we like to see our kids develop here at Heritage Hills, and uh, and and we think he's got a very bright future. And we're back on the Nate Hawkins show. Actually, we've got some strong sponsors to talk about the first two games of the season. You're listening to Southwest Indiana Sports Network, powered by Melody Bros for Communications. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. You dream it. We create it at Street Dreams. Custom paint, fabrication, stereos, wheels, tires, and more. We're also your authorized Sinister Sound dealer. Street Dreams, 317-624-1000, where you expect quality and Hey everyone, Joey Chestnut here, world champion competitive eater. 
I follow Southwest Indiana Sports Network, and if you're hungry for sports, you should follow them too. Follow the Southwest Indiana Sports Network at SWISportsNetwork.com or search Roku for our channel at SW Indiana Sports Network. Hello and welcome back to the Nate Hawkins Show. And Coach, you, you opened the season with two victories. Uh, your first opener was against North Harrison, you, where you won 67-63, and then you played uh, Tuesday night against Perry Central, where you won 67-52. Why don't you first uh, preview the North Harrison game for us? Yeah, the um, uh, North Harrison is a very good basketball team, uh, very veteran group. Uh, they, started four, they started four seniors and one sophomore. And uh, that that group of seniors, Joe, ha- has won a bunch of basketball games in their careers. Um, they uh, uh, that was a team that uh, they kind of beat us up a year ago, and uh, you know, I felt like our kids really responded, really stepped up to the challenge, and, and met their challenge. And um, you know, it, and early in the game, it was kind of a back and forth affair, and, and um, you know, and then we end up going up by one going into the half, and then we we were able to stretch it out. And, and like all good teams do, they they made a run at us. Uh, but I was really proud of the uh, toughness that our kids showed. We we never relinquished that lead. Uh, they did cut it to two a couple times, and all the way until about the last ten seconds of the game, and then uh, and Trent hit two free throws to put us up by four, and then got the rebound at the end to to win the thing by four. Uh, but uh, you know what can I say? I mean, what a what a great uh, opening game for our kids. Um, just to just kind of see where we're at at this point of the season. I mean, we are a very young basketball team. We are uh, learning every day, uh, working hard every day, and I just think that, that that them playing hard and how hard they play has really set them apart. Um, and um, and then just just hanging in there. I mean, we got out rebounded uh, by those guys. Uh, um, they shot way more free throws than we did. Um, you know, I don't know if uh, you know we we got too many hands. We got to get back to our defensive principles a little bit, uh, but. Uh, um, but we're learning, and um, you know, and it was just a really nice uh, opening season win. And then we, um, you know, and then after that, then we we basically had uh, Sunday off, go back on Monday, and uh, prepare for Perry Central. And then, uh, and it was nice to be able to jump right back in the gym. I think our kids were excited, uh, came out, and uh, we were a little flat early on. Uh, Perry Central come out, jumped on us. They were up five at the end of one, and then uh, we outscored them in the second quarter, Joe, twenty five to four. Um, just um, uh, they they did a bunch of different things, trying going to some different stuff, try to throw us off a little bit, and uh, try to try to keep the ball out of Trent's hands, and uh, it left some openings open for uh, Hunter Meredith, uh, Marcus Becker, and Colton Hope, and uh, those three guys end up the, the night with uh, Marcus and uh, Hunter with 14, and uh, Colton Hope had 11. <laughs> Uh, to our team and uh, the way that they they share the basketball, take the opportunities that are given to them. And I can go back even further back to that North Harrison game where Charlie Brentlinger got 20 points against North Harrison. So um, it's, it's, it's a pleasure for a coach to be able to see the balance that we've got because, uh, you know, obviously we know, um, you know, that Trent is, Trent is our horse and, and he is our go-to guy. Uh, but, uh, Trent Sisley, 10 assists in the first two games um, of the season. So, um, you know, he's finding those guys, and those guys are delivering for him. And uh, um, it's just, uh, you know, it's a, a team that really cares about one another, um, willing to make that extra pass. And uh, I'm, just, uh, I'm just really proud of them at this point of the season. And, um, you know, but we also know that uh, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got to get a lot better. Uh, we've got a mighty, mighty challenge on Saturday in the um, um, old uh, sneakers for Santa um, shootout up at Brownsburg. Um, so, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun, and, uh, you know, I'm just uh, looking forward to it. And we'll be back on the Nick Hawkins Show, actually, this message from our sponsor. You're listening to the Southwest Indian Sports Network, powered by Millie Bros for Communications. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? 
I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. When you think sporting goods, think no further than All-Star Sports in Ferdinand. Custom embroidery, screen printing, team uniforms, sports equipment, and sports apparel and shoes. We have it all. Give Brad a call today at 812-367-1618 or visit them in the Country Plaza Shopping Center in Ferdinand. All-Star Sports is open Monday through Friday, 10 to 7, and Saturday, 9 to 4. All-Star Sports, when you're thinking sporting goods. Capturing your yesterday. And welcome back to the Nate Hawkins Show. And Coach, this Saturday you travel up to play Brownsburg. Why don't you preview that game for us? Well, uh, you know, Brownsburg, uh, we're a little bit familiar with them. Um, I, I'm very familiar with their coach, uh, Coach Lynch. Um, I was Indiana All-Star coach there a couple of years ago, and then last year uh, Coach Lynch was as well. And uh, he was, um, when we when we were up there, we actually played one of our games up there at Brownsburg. And I really got to know Coach. And then uh, back in 2019, we played Brownsburg. Um, and uh, in a game that was kind of back and forth until the very end, and they kind of pulled away from us. Uh, but um, um, one thing is that uh, they're going to play very good man-to-man defense. Um, they're going to share the basketball. Um, you know, they've got a, they've got a couple kids. Um, you know, one the catching kid is already verbally committed to Purdue. Um, can really shoot. He can drive it. Good good player. Tough kid. Uh, actually plays with Trent in AAU. Um, you know, but uh, he's not the only thing. I mean, they 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 put five guys on the floor that could score. Um, and like I said uh, uh, a little bit earlier, is uh, to this point, obviously, this is our biggest challenge, and um, and we put this game on this schedule for a reason, uh, because uh, we we want to challenge this group. We we want this group uh, to uh, it's, it's a great measuring stick and uh, see where we're at and uh, how we're going to uh, attack these guys, but. Uh, uh, I'm really, really excited about it because it gives us an opportunity to go play in a different place in a, in a great facility uh, behind a, a great crowd, and um, you know, and um, you know, it's just going to not, nothing but positives out of this whole deal, Joe, because um, our kids are going to learn so much, and, um, and 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 too, I think uh, if we go out there and we play really well, I think we have a chance to win this basketball game. Uh, but uh, but our kids do know that uh, we've got to play very well. We got to take care of the basketball, and uh, and, and we're going to have to tighten up our defense a little bit if we're going to be in this. And well, and you know, the more we do these shows, the more I come to realize the connection amongst all you all. Uh, you know, Jeff Lillian up at Perry Central, <laughs> and and Drew Mesmer at, at Forest Park. Uh, you know, a lot of connections. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and uh, you know, those two guys were uh, at one point uh, were assistant coaches for me, now head coaches leading their program. Um, you know, Jeff's doing a great job with with his guys at Perry Central. I, I really thought the other night that they played really, really well. And uh, and they're a team that's only going to continue to get better and uh and uh, they're gonna play hard for him and uh, and he he's gonna he's gonna work them and uh you know I think um you know that uh, as their season goes on I think you're you're gonna see a steady improvement in those guys. And uh and, and Drew the same way. Drew uh, started off his coaching career, got him a win um over at uh, Crawford County uh, by 21 points and uh you know I called him and congratulated him and uh you know he he's just excited to be leading that program and uh and he's going to do great things there too and and uh, both those guys will end up meeting up against each other in the sectional um as well uh so I'm going to try to just play a neutral neutral card on that one and and uh cheer both of them on you know well coach good luck this week against Brownsburg well, I appreciate that, Joe, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to the challenge and uh, looking forward to getting back on and talking with you. 
And you've been listening to the Nate Hawkins Show on the Southwest Indiana Sports Network, powered by Melody Broker Communications. We'll see you next week. You've been listening to the Nate Hawkins Show. Learn about Heritage Hills basketball every week. The Nate Hawkins Show, exclusively on Southwestern Indiana Sports Network.